Lilith's six year anniversary festival is here at last, and there are a ton of great things that you can buy and get during this event, so stick around to learn how you can save money while spending on the anniversary festival. What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms gameplay episode from your very own Shappy Gaming. Today we are going to be talking all about the anniversary festival and what you should probably be spending your money on in this event. And I've got a nice tip to help you save some money because let's be honest, everyone wants to save money on Rise of Kingdoms, especially if you're spending. So stick around to learn more. Let's jump into it, shall we? So the anniversary festival has a ton of things different going on. So you've got your Circus of Wonders, and I got a little quick tip for you. If you click on this guy a bunch of times, uh, he'll actually give you some gems. So nice, nice little tip to start out the video, helps save you a little bit of money. But that does bring us to one of the things that you might want to save some money on, and that is this bundle. So during the Souvenir Showcase, they have a really cool event where you can actually get put into a drawing and potentially win a different award. I believe it's like $2 a ticket, and the odds are actually pretty good that Let's say you don't win Act 1. Uh, you can get one to two gold heads for $2. Honestly, I think that's a pretty good deal. And if you do really well, then you could get a lot more. As you can see, I did buy myself a ticket because I think it's worth it. And I would like to hopefully get this. That would be really cool, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, but you can get a bunch of great rewards. Personally, I'm in it for that 30-day gem supply. But I believe this is about a $2 bundle. So there's a neat little trick that I'll show you at the end. As to how I was able to buy that, it actually cost me absolutely nothing. And that's partly why I'm making this video. Uh, we also have our anniversary shop, and this is really important because this is where you're gonna get the bulk of your rewards. So if you come in here, you have two different versions of it. You have your keys and you have your anchors. Pro tip, do not spend your keys. I will repeat, do not spend your keys. Wait until you have all of your anchors before you go ahead and spend any keys because if you go into your anchor shop, you can see that many of these do require actually using your keys. So I wanna help save you guys some rewards. Also, pro tip, you can use uh, this skin for your farms. There's a bunch of different ways you can do it. Generally, it's essentially buying the baubles that you can use in the desert tracks and getting it there. So a couple, couple things I wanna call out here. This is really cool. You can get a lot of rewards for not terribly much investment. You can get a transmutation crystal, which we all know are like next to impossible to come by. And how do you get these? So that brings us to our first important thing, which is actually going to be the Desert Tracks event. I do have a video on Desert Tracks. Be sure to check it out on the top right side of your screen now. Uh, this is one of my favorite events in Rise of Kingdoms. I think it's one of the best values in the game. So definitely go ahead buy stuff for desert tracks it's a great event for you so now how do you spend money on this so there are a couple different events and there's a couple different ways to do it best so first off be sure to go ahead and buy the, the different baubles i believe you can buy up to 20 of these it's worth it in my opinion i think it's a great value of your gems i would recommend doing it that said I don't know that I'd recommend doing the 1,000 gems per piece. That's kind of expensive, maybe maybe too rich for my blood. So don't do that. But what you can do is if we actually go over to our shop here, you'll notice a couple new bundles. You'll also notice that you can get rewarded like never before. But the bundle that I would actually buy for Desert Tracks is probably gonna be Master of Dunes because it's $5 for two of these dice. Uh, whereas if you go to the Super Value Bundle, they do have another one, but that's $5 for one die. Personally, I would go ahead and max out the Master of Dunes well before I went to the other. It's just not worth it. That's just my opinion. Uh, but my goal is to help save you guys some money. So this is going to be the way that I would go ahead and spend it if I were going to do it myself. There's also the Captain's Wish, the Distance CE at Beckons. Uh, personally, I don't think this is worth it. The Quills can be used in our 7K Gem event, which we love to see. But realistically... I don't think that you need to buy the quills. If you're an active player, you can probably do just fine. But what I might suggest is unlocking this $10 bundle. Realistically, for 10 bucks, you get a lot of value here and you get quills and you get more of those captain's coins, which we already know you can trade for gold heads, etc. So I might consider this and that's a lot of money to be spending across all of that, right? So what are we getting for it? Well, with the 7K gem event, you get a ton of great rewards that you can use. You can also go ahead and buy more things in the anniversary shop, which again, I think is a great value. 
The way I would recommend looking at it is if you want gold heads, if you want materials, if you want all of that for your money, this is a great event to do it. And if you're like me, you may find that we have this epic glory event. This is huge. 22,000 gem recharge is a lot of money to spend. Personally, I'm not planning on doing that, but you can get like, I think it's close to 100 heads for a commander here. Maybe a little bit less. It's probably closer to about 50. But what you can also get is if you're in KVK, you can also get the Bounty of the Ancients. And all of these bundles essentially count for both. So if you're planning on whaling out, I'm not saying now's the time to do it, but now's the time to do it. So that's probably what I would buy. I don't know that I'd buy King's Coronation. You could always top up on your super value bundles and your gem supply. Uh, you know, I know I'm running, starting to run low on my 30 day gem supply. So if I'm gonna spend money, now's the time to do it. Now, you may be wondering, Chappie, you said you were gonna save me some money and I am gonna save you some money. So there's, there's this really cool thing that Lilith recently rolled out. It used to be called Pluto Mall. Now it's called the Lilith Store. And this enables you to buy scripts. Why would you wanna buy scripts? There are a bunch of different reasons. So the first is some countries actually don't want you paying for different bundles uh, through the Apple App Store or Google Play. So you can buy scripts and that way you can still spend money on the game even if your country doesn't necessarily allow it. So that's one reason you might wanna do it. It also helps if you're playing on PC and you don't wanna go through and enter your card details a hundred different times. The other thing is Google and Apple take a pretty big percentage of every sale on their App Store. And so you're actually supporting Lilith more by going through this route than you would be by going through Apple. So personally, I always wanna support Lilith and I want to give them my money because Apple's not gonna help me at all. Now, the other reason, and perhaps the most important for, for the average player, is when you buy bundles through here, you can get these little coins. And these little coins are a great way to save money because when you buy them, let's say you buy a $10 bundle, right? We just showed that $10 bundle you're gonna get these 10 coins. And what you can do with these coins is you can actually get some of the cheaper bundles pretty much for free. So that, that little souvenir thing that I showed you earlier with the birds, yeah, I got that for free because I went ahead and I bought, I believe it was the Crystal Mega Pack. And when you buy this, you actually get a bunch of the different Flux Coins. You get 90 Flux Coins. And you can use those for whatever you want. Now what you'll also notice is with the Crystal Mega Pack, which should in theory give you most of your uh, pop-ups, and it does say that there, it needed to redeem every crystal pop-up. It's only about a hundred bucks. So you're looking at your KVK cost. You've got the $15 for your crystal quest. You have the $5 for your, your crystal mill, but you may want to buy the pop-ups. And this is a great way to do it because again, you do get those flux coins. So typically I spend, whenever I'm spending, I go through the Lilla store because it makes the most sense for me. I'll drop the link in my description if you want to go check that out. Uh, but again, my recommendation, don't buy any of the things that don't come with the coins. Again, the main value you're getting here is actually going to be through these coins because they add up and then you end up getting free bundles, which personally I'm a big fan of. Uh, and that's probably the best way to do it. You can set up Apple Pay and go through that. Uh, one thing I will say is you probably want to link your account with an email address before you go and do this. And if you're going to buy $5 bundles, what I would recommend is they do have a $50 one that I believe, yeah, the, I think it's this one. Let's see. Now there's one bundle that they have, which is a bunch of $5 scripts. And you might wanna consider that uh, because yeah, here it is. I think it's, it's one of these, but there's one of these that contains a bunch of $5 scripts, which I actually bought because that's the best way to get value for your $5 ones. Because as you can see here, if you just go ahead and you do one $5 one, you get no coins. But if you do the 10 of them, which let's be honest, you're probably going to spend 50 bucks on the game anyways through your $5 bundles, uh, you do get those coins. So I hope that this has helped you guys a lot. I've walked you through what you should be buying, what is important in this event, where you should be using your coins and all that value. And I've walked you through how you can save money through spending in Rise of Kingdoms. If you guys have enjoyed, do be sure to hit that subscribe button right over there, bottom right hand corner, and drop a like on the video. It helps me out a ton. Thank you all. Shappy out.